outlook for 2014, I'm very positive. I'm upbeat that it's going to begin the transformation of our country. It's going to mark the opening of new doors of opportunities for us. But let me just explain in a way that is easy for everybody to understand the situation in which we found ourselves. You cannot continue to subsidize. You cannot continue to give freebies when you don't have the income to be able to support it. And so that's the, uh, the, the challenge we are faced with. We have a deficit. Our expenditure exceeds our income at the beginning of 2013 by 12%. We're spending more 12% of GDP every year than we earn. And so you need to balance out your expenditure and your income. Those decisions are not easy to take. For me, if I could give free petrol to Ghanaians, I would do so. If I could make uh, uh, energy as cheap as possible, I would do so. But there are some tough decisions you must take. We have a deficit of energy. We currently have an installed capacity of about 2,800 megawatts. Our demand for power is rising by 6 to 7% every year. And so you need to put in more energy generation. Government does not have the investment to be able to do it. You need to bring the private sector in to help you to do it. The private sector doesn't come and set up a thermal plant to sell energy at a loss. And so you must adjust tariffs to an extent that makes it attractive for them to come in. Yeah, terrorism has plagued our sub-region. We had thought that we were you know, safe from this scourge. But we realize that nowhere in this world is any country safe from the scourge of terrorism. Ghana so far has been lucky to have been spared you know, any direct terrorist attacks. But we must not rest on our oars and assume that we're immune from terrorist attacks. If we look at what happened in Kenya recently, um, the threats that happened in Mali, um, Nigeria, as you said, Boko Haram, it, 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 it's not far from our shores, and so we need to be alert about the issues of terrorism. But the fact that terrorism exists doesn't mean we shouldn't talk about it. If you don't talk about it, how can you find you know, a, a, a solution for it? We have committed in West Africa to um, work on an anti-terrorism plan, and so together all our countries are contributing to um, work on uh, preventing terrorism. And so it's something we need to discuss and think about ways and means to prevent it, not only within our countries, but within our sub-region, within our continent, and all over the world. And the way to do that is not to be afraid to talk about it, but to talk about it and find how we can achieve solutions to the plague of terrorism. And so I'll continue to discuss it with my colleagues. I'll continue to mention it. But at the same time, we'll continue to prepare our nation you know, in the event that there's any such uh, attack, how we can respond uh, to it.